Hi everyone, welcome. Hi everyone, welcome to 21 Days of Discipline. Uh, for today's uh, scripture, we'll be reading again from the book of Hebrews chapter 12, uh, focusing on slightly different verses from last time. So let's take a look at the word together. Uh, this is from Hebrews chapter 12, and we're going to read from verses 5 through 11. So I'll read for us. And have you forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as sons? My son, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor be weary when reproved by him. For the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastises every son whom he receives. It is for discipline that you have to endure. God is treating you as sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? If you are left without discipline in which all have participated, then you are illegitimate children and not sons. Besides this, we have had earthly fathers who disciplined us and we respected them. Shall we not much more be subject to the father of spirits and live? For they disciplined us for a short time as it seemed best to them, but he disciplines us for our good that we may share in his holiness. For the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Uh, so I wanted to uh, pray for us and then uh, share the word. Uh, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for your word, which continuously uh, makes us new and transforms us and gives us life. Uh, Lord, today would we just hold on to this word as the truth of our life. And would we allow this word to really change us and make us more and more like your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you. We love you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I wanted to focus today on verse 6 and the attitude that we have towards discipline. In verse 6, it says, For the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastises every son whom he receives. So here it says that uh, discipline from God is not because God is trying to punish us or God is trying to, you know, intentionally give us a tough time, but it's out of love that God disciplines us. And in fact, if we are not disciplined by God, if we don't participate in this discipline, then we are illegitimate children and not sons. It says this in verse 8. And I was, I was reflecting about you know, what it means to be a child of God. I was reminded of uh, the parable of the two sons, right? And the older son, uh, he does everything right. He is responsible. He stays at home. He takes care of things he needs to take care of. But at the end, his attitude was basically like that of someone who is not a true son because he complained to the father saying, you know, all this time I was here, but you haven't even given me anything to celebrate with my friends. And the father is so sad to hear about this because he says, like, you know, you're my son. You, everything that I have is yours. And for us too, we're the children of God. And that means that the kingdom of God actually belongs to us. And we are the rightful owners of the king, heirs of the kingdom, kingdom of God. And when you are like an heir or you are an owner or you are the son of a house or the child of a house, um, you actually take care of this house, not because you are being paid, not because you want to look good in front of your family, but because you really have that ownership and you really realize that this home, this house, it belongs to you. And so you'll do whatever it takes to take care of this house. And it's the same with, you know, God's kingdom. And it's the same with our relationship towards God. Um, you know, we are not merely servants of God, but God, he has adopted us as his children through the blood of Jesus. And that means we are like brothers. We are um, co-heirs with Christ and the inheritance which Christ received. Uh, we also take part in the inheritance. And that means that, you know, our life and everything that we do is not for, you know, gaining, you know, all the training that we go through, the discipline that we go through. It's not so that we can, you know, gain love from God or 
gain acceptance by God. We have already been accepted by God into his family. And now we have this new identity as God's children and as God's rightful heirs, as his legitimate children, we want to take responsibility for the kingdom of God that he's entrusted to us. And in order to do so, everything that's in us needs to be transformed because by nature, we are rebellious and by nature, we don't want to follow God. You know, we don't want to read the word. We don't want to pray. We don't want to practice um, the spiritual disciplines uh, that are necessary for our growth. And the reason why God desires us to go through this discipline is not to um, make us into these like um, legalistic like robots or machines, but God, he really wants us to be changed. And he says this in uh, verse 10. It says, For they discipline us for a short time as it seemed best to them, but he disciplines us for our good that we may share his holiness. So our life now is a life of basically turning away from um, our old self, our old nature, our old habits, and pursuing holiness and purity, holiness and righteousness. And I really pray that during these 21 days, during these uh, this month of January, that uh, our attitude towards this training is not like, I just have to do this because um, this is um, you know, what I have to do, this is what Christians have to do, or, you know, I just need to read the Bible more because not reading the Bible is not good, or I need to do the morning prayer um, because, you know, uh, any kind of uh, pressure or anything, but I really pray that uh, we can hold on to this scripture of the fact that God is, is disciplining us because we are his children that he loves. And he wants us um, to share in his holiness. And he wants us uh, really to live the life that uh, he designed for us and that he meant for us to live. And that this time, although it may be unpleasant in the moment, although it may be plain, painful in the moment, um, that as we continue uh, to be our bodies, as we continue to struggle, in our fight against sin, as we continue to really uh, endure um, that uh, we will really, really become more and more like Christ and our identity as God's children will be strengthened. So I'll pray for us. Uh, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this word again. And we really pray that in these next few weeks uh, that the word would come alive in us, uh, that we would really um, come to understand our identity as your children, uh, that any of the rebelliousness in our hearts uh, would really be exposed through your word and through your truth. Uh, and that this time would be a time of gratitude and a time of grace, uh, that we would truly change from the inside and not only our behaviors but as we be our bodies as we be our flesh uh, that our hearts would really um, become more and more uh, open to you uh, more and more soft towards you um, that we would really become the little children who inherit your kingdom we thank you and we praise you in the name of jesus christ we pray amen amen